Hello everyone, welcome to the Trow Canal. Well, in front of us, just starting there, is Knockbrook Canal, which we are going to find, seeing as it has been shut down for a good few years now. We'll bring you more information on that later in the series. Now, who we have coming with us is Ant and Jake. Hi guys, are we all ready? Yeah, ready for this one. Hopefully we can show them a thing or two. I was just saying about that being the Nutbrook Canal and we're going to find it. Right, shall we get going? Yeah. So here we are at the other side where we said that we could find the Nutbrook Canal. That is the Airwash Canal. So somewhere across there we should be able to see a lock, but it's actually behind private property. So it looks like we're gonna have to go on a really good tour. But the weather's beautiful, the sun is out, the guys are ready with the backpacks on. Come on guys, let's go. So we've left behind all the recycling plants which now occupy the land of the great Stanton Iron Works and we're onto the Nutbrook Trail. Now if we stayed on this path we'd follow the old railway line towards Shipley but in order to find lot one and part of the canal we've got to go over this mound and somewhere in here should lie remnants of the canal and lock one. It's just so hard to believe what a hive of activity this used to be. And now it's just laid in ruins. Oh, well, you get pretty flowers there, isn't it? That's it, nature takes over and it just you know sometimes it can actually produce something quite nice. Jake, why aren't you coming down? The joys of exploring. So we still try to find lock number one or any trace of the canal. We're hoping this is going to lead to it. It's frustrating when you're trying to find something, but at the same time, when you do actually find it, well, hopefully it is actually something pretty special. So we're having to abandon the hunt for lock number one because it is situated over there in a well, private property, basically. So it may have just vanished altogether. We have found an old piece of railway line, so there's a little bit of a relic. I mean, of course, the railway network would have been extensive. It would have been huge. So the adventure now continues to try and find lock two. Here we go. So after the disappointment of not finding lock number one, we decided to give up hope on lock number two. But as we were doing that, the guys actually found it. Found it. So here's lock number two. Not looking much like a lock, so if you're actually not a boater, you'll and be wondering. The first part of the canal in water. There we go, a bit more information there. If you don't know exactly what a lock looks like, it's definitely not like this. Here's part of the lock. Definitely very different to how locks are kept in practice this time. Let's have a look underwater. And there we go. So as we leave lock number two to go and look for lock number three, we'll have to go along all this rubble area. We're actually quite lucky that we found this to be honest because we've not been able to get lock number one. We actually thought lock number two might not exist either but it's quite nice to see it hasn't been trashed. So we've actually come across a railway line now this would have been probably the last remaining active line. It's amazing how it's not 
weeded up like you'd expect it to be. So over that way, it'd take you to the Arrowwash Valley line. And that way, it would take you deep into some sort of industrial area. We're not sure how far it goes. If we find time, we'll add it to the video later. We spent a few minutes just following the course of the old railway line. I mean, if the rails weren't rusty, you'd think it was only used yesterday in times. And you get a few twigs and branches protruding over the edge. We're just going to see how far we can get on this line. I know it's a bit of a diversion from the canal, but every little bit of history adds up to the entire exploration of the area. That's as far as the railway line goes. If it go past that mound for a few hundred yards, it'd meet up the Arrowwash Valley line. Oh, wow. And there's some old abandoned buildings. It'd be rude not to have a quick nosy in. You done sneezing? Yeah. Okay. It looks like it may have been some sort of um, playhouse. Because the, the way the floor slopes down is if the seats were there. That looks like an old demolished stage. That looks like an old demolished stage. And the way it slopes down is if there would have been chairs. And would that have actually had the the projector or whatever coming out of it. Whoa. Much it, it's wet here. It's dripping. Looks like uh, that looks. What do you think? Old cinema. Yeah, strange. Right, let's get back outside and get back to the canal. So we've left the railway line and now we've picked up the canal and it's on private land again. So we're not going in there, but we'll follow this path along the edge of it and hopefully we'll meet up with it a little further down. So we're going to go through this gate now and the fence has disappeared. There's the railway line again over there. We will actually come back to the canal. You can't see it that well. I'll try and go a bit further down. Hopefully it'll improve in looks when we get there. What you found there? That's it's an old bridge, isn't it? How oh, remarkable. No, it's it's a bridge, but it's been dammed off. So that would have been the... This would have been a swing boat, would it? Um, swing bridge? It could well have been, actually, because it just seems to stop abruptly. This has been put in since, obviously. Yeah. And there's the other, other side of it. Look at the reeds, they're so tall. So we've also met up with the railway line again. It looked like it was going to stop, but it doesn't. It's just kind of buried. Let's carry on a little bit further. So the line's separated now. Now we're using the line as a bit of a guide to find the canal because it does kind of follow. So we know not to take the second line over there 
we'll continue following this one and we think the canal is going to be a little bit over in that direction we think we might have found something through here there's an opening looks well used and there is a pretty big body of water let's try and get down here without slipping oh, 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 oh. wow now this will be Chadwick's pond and they've probably come fishing here whether this was part of the canal bed it may have been it may have gone over there we'll get back up and have a look okay so we found a river lake thing back there Chadwick's Chadwick's and now we're just carrying along I think I hope we might find something down here oh oh my goodness me there you go. Oh wow, here we go. What would this be? Assuming it's where the water supply would still carry on, because I believe the, well, the canal went Wow. Through. It's got a map on a tweak then. Okay. You twang back. Oh, that's what you get for exploring. So when the canal was closed. Oh wow. This would have been used to still supply the water flow down to the Stanton Ironworks uh, from about the 1940s. Oh, there's a train. I think it was a lorry. Yeah. So here we are, back on the canal. Bloody amazing to say, I'll say that. Because normally abandoned ones you don't have water in. It's very it nice to see that we found the canal again. It's been abandoned, still with water in. So there's your overflow. You know what? It's amazing to explore the stuff. Mm. So that's where it's feeding the other end. So that would have been an additional water source over there, what we were just looking at. But this would have been the main feeder after the canal closed, which would have supplied Stanton Ironworks its main source of water. The course of the canal would have continued off that way. Head it this way, you wouldn't even think it was closed. It's a completely different picture, isn't it? You'd think it was still open, wouldn't you, though? Look at it. I mean, Jake, it's a completely big turnaround from what we've oh, just... Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, Stanton Bridge crossed. Glad to see the canal's still full of water. I'm going to walk towards what will be lock number three. Right, we've got to find ourselves lock number three. And it's the closest thing to a canal lock we've come across. We obviously missed out on number one. Number two was a shadow of its former self. But there's quite a bit of water flowing here. And look at the look at the mechanism there. Some sort of valve gear. That is truly amazing to think how old this is. Absolutely remarkable. I'm not going to risk walking across there, that looks, that is very slippy. My right foot's just told me it's very slippy. <laughs> so we'll continue on up that way. But yeah, that's, that's amazing. Who would have thought this would still be here? After lock three, we've got Stanhope's arm. Now this was a short arm, which led to the Lord Stanhope's wagon way. And after that, we continue, and the next section to hunt for is lock number four.
Now the canal has almost disappeared again. There's a lot less water in it. There's a bit of a flow coming off it. There's a footbridge. And it's connected to the Nut Brook, which it's turned as its own little weir. So the next part of the canal is beyond those trees. So past the weir, we've still got the Nut Brook on the right. And then we've got the Nut Brook Canal on the left. Not far down here, we should be able to find lot number four. Right, we've carried on walking down the path and we think lot number four might be over here. Yeah, I think we should see it just as we've gone up this little hill. I can't imagine if it draw any water here though. Have you been down there? Oh, some garden furniture. Yeah. Oh wow, it is, isn't it? That's an absolute mess, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. It's just, them houses. just being used as a dumping ground, isn't it? No. That's lot number four. Yeah. Well, well found, Jake. I think it's safe to say the third one was the nicest looking one out of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> So up there is the A6096, that's Lady Wood Road. And we've come to the end of the canal again. That's the Nut Brook. Again, not to be confused with the Nut Brook Canal, which flows underneath the A6096. So we're gonna go up this path and get to the road and then see what's on the other side. So we've crossed Ladywood Road, the Nut Brook has reappeared on the other side. That's down there on the left. An even more abandoned section of the canal. So a little bit about this canal. Now it's basically built to serve the collieries for the transportation of coal from Shipley and the West Allen area. And the canal itself was completed in 1796. Now, it, it was good, it earned some money, it earned the companies a lot of money, it was, it was profitable. But within about 50 years, the railways came along and it was facing pretty stiff competition. And also, there was subsidence caused by the coal mines, which obviously affected the canal too. Now, the coal mines, they effectively started failing to pay the tolls for the goods carried along the canal. And in some cases, they weren't even accepting responsibility for the subsidence which their own coal mines and pits had actually caused. So, most of it was closed in 1895. Now that is literally almost just a 40 years lifespan. So we're now going to look for lock number five. So we'll see you there. So we found Ox Meadow Lake, situated just outside of Kirk Allen. Lock number five is situated here. And if we follow this path around, we'll be able to see exactly where the lock was situated. There we have lot number five. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah. Like you say, they might be fantastic. Nobody educated it in school. The the amount of people that have just walked past this and just believe it's a wall. Let's carry on. It's getting a bit chilly now. There's a bit more here, look. Right, let's continue. So we've left the course of the canal, walked around the edge of 
the pond and then we continue over this little bridge over the nut brook then we are gonna go over this grass hopefully find block number six so we've just come from there the canal is now there amongst all these thickets follow this path around and we're back on the course of the canal again so we're still looking for lot number six I've, actually we found lot number six is that lot number six wow we're actually inside it there we go So we've been digging for locks, we've been peering over locks, and now we're inside a lock. It's only got the one wall. Some playing fields over there. So that bit of the wall's gone, there's a little bit more there, and then we're back to the canal bed again. So we'll follow what may or may not have been the towpath and head next towards the A609 bridge, Straws Bridge Lot, which will be number seven, and Straws Bridge Pond. Seems to be that we're actually walking in the canal bed because we've got, coming from the lock, we've got a a wall on that side and then like a similar bedding on that side which would simulate us being in the canal which it's very very wide yeah but some canals you do get very wide indeed right let's carry on look for number seven so we've now come off the previous section of the canal we lost it briefly a few hundred yards up the A609 and then on the Nutbrook Trail Sorry. Sorry. we're looking for Strawsbridge Pond Strawsbridge Lock Lock number 7 this would have been Lock number 7 Strawsbridge Pond is over there. Lot number seven would have been down there. We'll take a walk down. That was an old railway embankment for the Stanton to Shipley line. And down here, on our right hand side this would have been lot number seven oh, wow. so we believe that was lot number seven I'll try and clarify that when we get back or it could be a little further out of reach but we'll give you a bit of a look at Strawbridge Pond There an owl in the distance. Straws Bridge Pond. This will conclude our journey for today. We'll continue on part two uh, in a short time at a later date. We'll continue on the terminus of the canal at Shipley. See if we can find any more locks and any more traces of the canal. So, what do you think? You happy with what we found? 
my favourite thing was actually finding the lock. Yeah, the um, number three, which was flowing, it had some of the equipment still there. Um, yeah, I was quite impressed with that one. Yeah, I think that was my favourite part of the walk as well. There's a lot of abandoned area as well. There were some railway lines which caught my interest. Not sure where they went. Um, it took longer than we thought. Yeah, it's because we were exploring. But um, we should hopefully continue on, lock eight onwards, all the way to the other end at Shipley. But now we're currently going to go and find a pub and get some food. Because we are. We've earned it, haven't we? Definitely, yeah, yeah. Who's on a nice day? Me. <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the next video. We'll leave you some pictures.